Hello friends, myself Rishi Kothari. I'm a student of Bangalore Institute of Technology of 5th semester Computer Science Department. So today I'm going to show you how to simulate and push down automata using the JFLEP simulation tool. For this first we have to download the JFLEP simulation tool from a browser. So we will open our browser first. And we will search for JFLEP download. And then we open the first website that comes up. And then we have to download the JFLAP 7.1.jar file. Once the file is downloaded, go to downloads and run the JFLAP file. If you are creating a push down automata, select the push down automata option and we have to select the what type of input that we are providing that is multiple character input. Then we click on OK and just maximize the window. Now for constructing an automata, consider the question that we are to, going to create that is L equals to A to the power N and B to the power N where N is greater than or equals to 1 by final statement. So for creating the states, we will of this button and we will create three states q0 and we will create two more other states that is q1 and q2 now we select this select option and we will make the state q0 as the initial state and we will make the state q2 as final state now we will define the transitions. First, we will define self transition on state Q0. So we will select the pointer from Q0 and release it on the Q0. And then we are going to provide the transition. That is, we will provide the transition for input symbol A when the top of the stack is A. Then it will be A. Then we provide one more transition on Q0. That is, for input symbol A when the top of the stack is Z, that will be AZ. Now we will provide transition from state Q0 to Q1 on the input symbol that is B when the top of the stack is A. Then it will pop. So for empty symbol in state flex simulation tool, it is represented using lambda. So we'll just leave it empty. So now we will define self transition in state Q1 for input symbol B when the top of the stack is A and it will pop. So we will leave it as it is. Now we will provide transition from Q1 to Q2 step on the empty string. So we leave the first column as it is when the top of the stack is Z. So in the second column we will enter Z and it will remain as Z. So our push down automata is created. Now for this language A to the power n and B to the power n where n is greater than equals to 1. The set of for this the strings a b a a b b and a a a b b b will be accepted. So we are trying to test all these strings for the automata we have created. So for testing we will go to the input option and we'll run by step by step and then we will provide the input that we are going to use that is two a's and two b's. Then we will enter on OK. Then we will check for the string using step by step method. So we will to click on step, then first A is read and the state remains, machine remains in the state Q0. On reading the second A, still the machine remains in the state Q0. On reading the next symbol that is B, the machine makes a transition from Q0 to Q1. That's the transition here we have provided and it pops the a also from the stack. On reading the second input symbol, that is B, it also pops the second A from the stack and the machine remains on A. And on the empty string, the machine makes a transition from Q1 to Q2.
Now we will test for a string which is rejected. That is, we can select as double A and B, one B, and we will check for that. And this we are also doing the same procedure using step by step method. So for first reading A, it will remain in Q naught, and on reading the second A, it will still remain in state Q naught. On reading the input symbol B, it will make a transition from Q naught to Q one. And since the string is empty, but we don't have transition for empty string when the top of the stack is A. So if we just click on the stack, it will tell us that the string is rejected. Now we can check for the multiple inputs in a single run. So we can provide some accepted strings like double A and double B's, and A, B, and triple A, triple B's, and some rejected strings also like A, B, and A, B, B. And we will click on here the run inputs, and we will click on OK, and we can see that the above three strings are accepted, and the below strings are rejected. So this is how we can create a pushdown automata and simulate and check whether the strings are accepted or rejected. So thank you guys. This is how you create a pushdown automata. Thank you.